This movie tells a story about Sarah who opts for a cloning procedure after she receives a terminal diagnosis. But when she recovers, her attempts to have her clone decommission fail, leading to a duel to the death. First of all, this movie has an interesting premise. The approach is also unique as it presents the story in dark comedy with intentional flatness and deadpan humor. Unfortunately, the movie is confused about what it's trying to say. It's too wedded to its style at the expense of depth. The intentional flatness and dry, deadpan humor draw the viewers early on, but narratively is revealed to be something of an empty shell. Its vagueness is to its detriment. Karen Gillan is really good, but her commitment to being as monotone and unemotive as possible becomes grating sooner than later. This deadpan performance style eventually flattens the film. While this style of performance is meant to exacerbate the offbeat humor, the spirit eventually just misses the mark in a manner that feels painfully laden. It often feels more distant and isolating than funny, therefore leading to a movie that feels misjudged and far too remote. The execution is flat and begins to test one's patience and tolerance of this particularly dry and poker-faced tone. The script gives its cast little to chew on. Sarah is painfully underdeveloped character, apathetic to such an extent that you can't help but wonder why she'd even go through the effort of cloning herself at all. Sarah is the kind of character who ignores her mother's phone calls and rather watch porn than talk to her boyfriend. So it beggars belief that when told she has just a year to live, she chooses not to indulge every bucket list fantasy, but to spend all her money and time on something that will only benefit those people around her. Thematically, movies about cloning usually deal with the nature versus nurture debate, a person with identical genetic makeup begging the question of when DNA stops and when individuality begins. This movie sorts of centers its narrative around these kinds of themes, but it never quite sure of what it wants to say. It doesn't really have a point to say other than some of its light socioeconomic commentary about how cloning would work in a capitalistic society. It feels comparatively unmoored. Despite the movie finds an intriguing third act complication, the problematic clone theme is too familiar enough that it alone won't keep many viewers engaged for 90 minutes. Overall, this is such a disappointment. Interesting premise, but the script let it all down. We do not recommend this movie at all.